right, next bit then guys, so we're going to go from um, punching into trapping and then adding some little bit of funky bits on. So the first bit we're going to do is we're going to go jab and across, one and a two. And then we're going to do the most basic slip out the way. So from here, pad feet are going to throw the jab and we're just going to move our head off the 12. So the important bit about this is that our hands go at the same time as our head do. So we don't leave our hands behind and then keep our hands down here or keep our hands up here and then move our head out. That looks a bit silly. What we need to do is we need to move our hands at the same time and we're just transferring the weight across. So I get my head off the 12, get off the line and then a good slip should graze just past the ear. So I don't want to go too far, whoop, all the way over here because now I can't counter punch back. Okay, I need to just let it slip past my ear so I'm not getting boffed in the face but also I'm not going all the way out this way and then it's too slow for me to get back. Okay, so then we're gonna, we're gonna follow up then with a cross and we're gonna cross. So jab and cross, one, two, back, one, two, and a three into that bit. Okay, so that's the first one that we looked at. The next one that we looked at then was adding a split attack or a split entry. So this is where we do the same thing, so we do the slip, but then also what we're gonna do is we're gonna send a jab at the same time. So instead of just moving our head out of the way and going hook, and then waiting and springboarding forward to then punch, we're gonna send our own attack as we move off. So we're doing a simul simultaneous hit and move out of the way at the same time. So we go jab cross, start off with, one, two, then we move off to the side, then we're gonna go cross, hook, and across. And we're gonna add one more bit on. So now, pad feeder is gonna swing a left hook. So we're gonna roll underneath it, cut the angle slightly, finish off cross, and hook, okay? So the important bit about that last bit, so I've just done my cross, my hook and my cross, as they swing, I don't stay on the 12, okay? I need to create an angle. So I'm coming off that line that we talked about, we'll go forward, we go back, it's very boring. I wanna create an angle here, so I can then get a 45 degree angle right towards her jaw, or his jaw, or opponent's jaw, okay? So as I do my roll under, I step my right foot out, 45 degree angle, so I'm pointing towards to 11 o'clock, and then bam, into the cross, bam, into the hook. Okay, we do that one more time, just from the side. So we started off just with our slip. One, two, slip my head off, springboard forward, cross, forward, and then the cross. Then we added our split entry. So we went one, two, split and hit, back to the middle, cross, hook, cross, and then we cut the angle and moved around into our cross and our hook. Okay? The last one then that we're going to do before we have a little bit of trapping, this time we're going to go jab and cross. One, two, and this time as I split, I'm just going to put my hand here. So I'm going to jam the gun. I'm going to put my finger in the gun and go, nope, you can't fire that shot off. So I know that usually if the jab goes out, a cross is going to follow it. So I'm just monitoring with my left hand, her right hand. So I go one, two, and here I monitor that hand. So I just make it a little bit harder for her. Then I'm going to knock this down and come in with a hammer. Okay? So that is option number three.